men's soccer head coach Willie Merrick. Willie, how much growth in this year's program was evidenced after the victory at Saginaw Valley? Um, well, it, we, we have grown, and this game yesterday was a test to that. Uh, we had some young guys play and step up and really bring their A game uh, from a workman's like attitude. Uh, the effort was great by those individual players. Um, the, the soccer IQ was good. I mean, we played against the Alpha Dogs of our conference pretty much um, yesterday in Saginaw, national runner up last year. Uh, very big, strong, uh, quick, athletic team. And uh, our guys rose to the occasion. Um, Shane Facemeyer was really good yesterday as a freshman coming in, seeing some minutes, not starting, but coming off the bench and really sparked us, I felt. Um, Mike Fregolis got a start yesterday as a freshman um, against at Saginaw. And um, I felt uh, the guys who came off the bench, Caleb Wilson, uh, second year player, and Brent Wally, who's been normally starting for us, but you know, due to football, um, obligations. We, we felt it was the best that he came off the bench yesterday and, and those guys were sparks for us yesterday um, on top of our, our our normal players playing well. So we were pleased with the, the result obviously away from home. We didn't want to come home with less than three points. At the midpoint of the season what has surprised you and what do you feel has challenged you? Uh, probably what surprised me most is our cohesion as a team. Um, everybody's really getting along, buying in, helping one another out. Um, that's probably what surprised me the most. Uh, and uh, the second question, part of that. Uh, what, what do you feel has challenged you? Uh, ourselves. I mean, we have really been, I felt, a deciding team in all our wins and all of our losses. Um, we're 4-2-1 and one right now, and the two losses and a tie, I think we've been the deciding team. Where we shoot ourselves in the foot a few times during the course of games, and we pay for it. Uh, well, Friday, the result against Friday against Northwood, we just we came out flat, weren't ready to go for whatever reason. Um, didn't really overlook, overanalyze that game. Just felt like, all right, somewhere along the course, those kind of games happen. You do your best to prevent them, but they happen, and then you got to rebound within 48 hours and see. Um, and raise that performance, and we did. And so I thought the response over the weekend was very good. So I'm really proud of just how we're how well we're coming along. Um, and relatively, you could say we're a young team. I mean, we only have three seniors, um, and only and two of them start. And uh, we're playing our four or five freshmen a game. So uh, I'm 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 excited. Describe the boost the team will have upon playing its first home game in a month this Sunday. Yeah, playing at home is going to be great. Uh, we've been five games on the road uh, last two or three weeks, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, sleeping in our own beds, um, getting good meals here on campus, and uh, playing in front of our own fans. At this time, discuss who has emerged as leaders on the team, who has played beyond expectations, and which players have emerged as productive and steady. Um, from the, a standpoint of consistency and bringing it every game, I think um, our senior captains, first of all, Duncan Campbell and Jake Zabo, um, they lead by example from uh, gameplay. Their hard work, their intensity, their effort, uh, they always bring it, and that carries over to the rest of the team. Uh, and goal, Macklin Robinson's been doing a pretty decent job as of late, and uh, you know his backup, Justin Alexander, got a game in a couple of weeks ago and did very well against the 12th ranked team at Mercyhurst, so we're excited about his progress. Uh, some of our uh, younger guys have been really stepping up. As I said, Shane Facemeyer has been playing well when he comes in off the bench. Tanner E. Bryce has been starting every game as a freshman, and he's only getting better as we go uh, go forward. Mike Fregoulis is another freshman that's been seeing some good time like him. Uh, so we're, we're, we're excited about those guys and, and how they're progressing. And uh, we're going to rely on all those guys to uh, get us through this season. Uh, last question. Um, what are going to be the biggest challenges this weekend uh, heading into Finley and Walsh? Uh, well, one more away game with Finley uh, Friday afternoon uh, will be a strong test at their place. They're a very um, determined team at home, it seems like. Um, they bring a, a, a great effort. Um, it'll, be a, it'll be a quality game. Um, we're going to have to play it a, a, a 
a real good possession style game in order to wear them down and beat them. Um, and then obviously Sunday Walsh, Walsh is uh, we're tied right now with them for fourth in the league at nine points apiece. So this will be a big game as far as separating ourselves from one another. And uh, Walsh past Walsh teams have been traditionally strong, uh, great work ethic, and uh, so we'll be looking forward to seeing that matchup on Sunday. All right. Good luck this weekend. Thanks.